Hi friends, so in this video, we're going to see uh, three things in computer architecture. So one is the computer components and second one is the instruction cycle and third one is the instruction cycle state diagram. So all these three things we are going to discuss one by one. First, we'll see computer components. Uh, in the screen, you are seeing the block diagram. So this is the block diagram for the top level view of the computer components. So in the diagram, you are, you are seeing uh, first one is a CPU and second one is a main memory and third one is a IO model. So here in the CPU, you can see number of components. So we'll see one by one. So one is the program counter. So program counter, if the instruction is executed, the inst after instruction fetch, so this program counter will point the next instruction to be executed. So that is a major uh, need for program counter. And second one is the MAR, that is a memory address register. So for instruction fetch or data fetch, so this particular address register may be used. So to point out the exact location for that address will be uh, stored in this particular address register memory address register and second one is the memory buffer register if you want to take the data from the memory location this particular buffer register may be used and third one is the ioar that is an input output address register so for this address register may be used to locate the particular io device and same time so this io buffer register is there that one may be used to get the data or collect the data from io device so one more thing is there that is a ir that is an instruction register instruction register will be used to fetch the instruction so so after getting the address and from the memory location the instruction will be taken and instruction will be fetched here so after instruction fetch so for data collection the memory address register the memory buffer register may be used at last you can see the execution unit after fetching the instruction then after getting the data from io device or some other memory location so this particular uh, execution unit will execute the instruction so for that you need the system bus so system bus is the collection of address bus and data bus and the control bus so it may be used to uh, fetch the data between main memory and i would do i o model and the processor so next we'll see what is the instruction cycle in the screen you can see the basic block diagram of instruction cycle so in this block diagram you can see two different steps one is the fetch and second one is the execute so also it may be called as fetch cycle and second one is the execute cycle so during the fetch cycle from the program counter the address will be taken Based on that, from the exact location, memory location, the instruction will be fetched. So that instruction will be moved to the instruction register. After this instruction register, this particular processor will interpret the instruction for the data fetch. And second one, that is the execute cycle. So in the execute cycle, data transfers will be taken place so from the uh, main memory to cpu io model to processor so these are the data transfer operations will happen between cpu and the main memory or cpu and the io model so after data fetch so data processing will be performed by the processor so after this data processing so this particular data that is a resultant data will be stored back in the memory location. So these are the two different steps available in the basic instruction cycle. So then next one we are going to see that is the instruction cycle state diagram. In the instruction cycle, so what are the states available in the state? What are the operations? We'll see. So in the instruction cycle state diagram, so first step will be instruction address calculation. So after that instruction fetch will happen then after fetching the instruction then instruction will be decoded that is a operand and operation this instruction decode will happen so after this instruction decoding then the next one is the operand address calculations so for this operation you need the operands so that operand address need to be calculated that is the fourth step and the fifth step is after address calculation this operand will be fetched 
to the particular register. Then after fetching the data, the processor will perform the data processing. So the operation will be performed on the operands. So after this processing, result will be given. That is a result will be out. So that result in the form of operand. Again the operand will be come into the picture. So this operand again will be stored in the particular memory location. So for that you need to calculate the address. So then the operand will be stored. So after this operand store again it will go to the go and check the program counter for the next instruction to be fetched. So this is how your instruction cycle will be performed with the help of the processor. So step by step you can view in the particular diagram. So in the screen you are seeing the particular state diagram, instruction cycle state diagram. So these are the states available in the instruction cycle state diagram. Thank you.